Justin, start this one off with a video of uh, a man massaging his prostate to completion. No, no, Justin. Don't add a video there. Don't do that. Well, if we're not going to do that, then the audience can at least admire the croton plant, which we stuck right there. I think it goes very well with the screens. Yeah, at least do a zoom in on that, Justin. Look at that croton. Add uh, a little spin. Also, put, put Rotation in... Rotation 95 degrees there. 95 beautiful. degrees. It's flip 95 degrees. And also now put up the Wikipedia page for a croton so people can read a little bit more about what a croton is. Because I had no idea what a croton is. I just, I'm guessing it's some type of plant. Now, to the best of your ability, without doing any research, Justin... Explain to me what a neuron is. Okay, so neurons are basically these things in your brain that light up and shit when you do something fun. Uh, like watch all six seasons of George Lopez in one sitting without leaving your room. Uh, then your brain's like, fuck yeah, and you get happy. I don't fucking know, I had it. Let's plays. All right, we're going down to the beach, because in the last episode we found, uh, beach, beach, Gulliver. Let's go get away. They, they say what, what they, they gonna, gonna say. say. The cute frog staring at my ass. Oof. No, go she talk wasn't. to that frog. Let me go talk to the frog. That slimy little hoe. That slimy little slut. Come here. <sighs> oh yeah, baby. I had a weird feeling I'd run into you today too, baby. A weird feeling. Must be psychic, cause it sure has been a while. It wasn't that long, guys. We were gone like a week and a half in real life. Um, talk to me. Do you know Katrina? Oh my God, are we about to run into another random uh, event character? Is it a hurricane? Uh, no. It is a character who tells uh, psychic futures. Tell Ooh. me if you see a, a weird cat walking around. Is it black? It's... I think so, yeah. I think it's a black cat. Oh, because cause it's like superstitious and yeah. psychic and yeah. stuff. Uh, how do this I... This one goes out to all you black cats out there. All you black cats out there. We went to a... Uh, oh, and we talked about it on the podcast. The bar what? we went to in Kyoto that had great <laughs> black music. Well, I'll throw... I took a picture of the sign. I'll send it to you, Justin. Throw it up. <laughs> We were just walking and like Ryan and Jackson stopped and they're like black music. Yeah, good it's a black bar that's music. called Brown Sugar. It was one of the coolest bars I've ever been to though. I love like honestly though, that comes second to uh the New York bar. New York bar. Oh my god. That's the bar from Lost in Translation. Uh we went there. It was unreal. It was the coolest experience of my life. And I wish I could go back every So nice. Night. We had to go twice. Uh, yeah, we actually ended up going twice. Uh, and, you know, for a good time, we did make it Centauri time. Ryan won't get that reference because he has not seen Lost in Translation. Nope. I'm, I'm surprised. It's a great movie. I'm sorry. It's my favorite movie. Probably have to say. Second favorite is All is Lost. Uh, honestly, my tastes have shifted a little bit. Really? I, I've seen... I, I don't have to say All Is Lost is one of my favorites anymore. It's a great movie still, but I think I've grown weary of it because I've seen it so many times now. Mm. Uh, Gulliver, where are so you? So it doesn't hold up over time? It does, it's just, I think as I've... It became one of my favorite movies when I was in high school, and since then I think I've just seen a lot more okay. movies. Okay. Uh, Tyler's peering Tyler! In. You keep peering in. Stop interrupting our episodes! We didn't steal Wait, it. Steal your office chair. What's it doing in here? I have no idea. It Wait, smells like you it. and I both, our voices are. I just got back from GDC, so my voice is Ooh. done. Were you, you at GDC, buddy? Yeah, I was at a bunch of parties having to yell at business people. Ooh. That's what you do there. Did you make any games clothes. at GDC? I made four games. <laughs> God damn it, Phil Spencer. Put your pants back on. Nice. That was the first game. <laughs> it's a game where you constantly... Tr it's its one of those uh, rage games, like Toast the Bread or whatever it's called. It was built in the Rage Engine, actually. So it was a co-production with Bethesda. Only Did you do any jams? Store. No, no jams. Uh, Damn. I, I just had a lot of meetings and showed people... Your penis? My game. Uh, it was... When does this episode come out? Uh, a few days probably. Who knows? No, okay. Next I week. Know. I'm not gonna say the title. Unannounced Game Grumps Project number Z. Tyler's new game Wait, is actually really like sick. 25 other ones? There's so many. Put your tinfoil hats on. <laughs> How many new games are coming out? It's an Alex Jones game. <laughs> are, is there at least one that's a first person shooter? Uh, most are first person shooters. Yes. Yeah, and battle royales. Yeah, Ooh. we're really looking to break in and just put out a competitor to, to directly compete with Call of Duty and Apex Legends and uh, Fortnite. what? Fortnite. Fortnite. Um, we're, that's it. We just know that we have the bandwidth and capacity to be full AAA. Well, 
I'm proud of you, Tyler. Thanks. Y'all have come a long way. Yeah, we're huge. It's good to see. Can't, uh, well, I gotta go get back to washing my Maserati. Okay, yeah. All right, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have fun. Hey. Yeah. Thanks for Let me know when I can take it for a spin. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, sure. You. You know what? I'll call you. You. Okay. En you enjoy that chair. Just make sure you get it over the hump. Oh. Rolling on. that chair on out of here. There. Almost. There it is. Very, oh. very nice. Almost. It gets stuck somewhere in the door. You gotta okay. twist it. You gotta. It. Yeah. I mean, it's a door. It's. it's you gotta a lift it a little bit. Itself. Twist no, it so it fits the, the, the bottom. All right. What was I saying? Because I was actually on a roll with something. And I want to get back to that. Is that a fat joke? I just turned the subject around. Uh, you were talking about... I remember. No, anyway. You were talking about something else. What I was saying was... Uh, what were you talking basically, about? Basically, I've seen a lot of movies since high school. Movies. You were talking about Matt. Matt. You were talking about movies and yes. all is lost of how you don't like it that much yeah. anymore. Well, I, I still really like it, but the thing is... Um, Basically what happened it's too much was water <laughs> since then I've I've just seen a lot more movies and I'm like, you know what? All is lost is a really good movie. That still is uh, Very close to me, but I you know I've seen a lot more movies since a lot of really good movies that have just kind of bumped it down the list um, Fuck I saw you would be seeing us tonight but you gotta go hang out with your, you, yourself, and you. I, me, myself, and I. Dude, I just haven't, I would go with you guys, but tonight is one of the only chances I can have a little me time. Masturbate. No. Oh, I, sure. I'll do that if, even if people are over at my place. I did it last night with my door open while Jackson was in the other room. He had no idea. I don't even know that. Okay. Well, I mean, it was just a joke anyway, so. Okay. Brian, how many times while living together did you... Did you ever crank it while your bedroom door was open just to avoid suspicion? Yes. I did, dude, I did that so many times. You'd be in the living room or like your room, but I'm like, okay, if I randomly just get up and shut my bedroom door, he's gonna know what's up. So I'd just be like, I'd keep a keen ear on the door and I'd just be like, <laughs> You have a pretty heavy foot, so. I do, um, which my neighbors down below me don't appreciate. Uh, so I apologize. I got fucked up feet, so I take very heavy footsteps and where is Gulliver? Why is he just gone now? Wait, is he not at the beach? No, he's not where he was. Maybe he is at the wishing well, the town center. Let's go check there. <laughs> I was just imagining because like, there was a point where we needed to ask some police officers in Japan for some directional help. And we were just always like, do you speak English? And they were like, no. And imagine how weird it would be if like a bunch of Japanese people, like tourists were in America and they asked your typical like American cop, do you speak Japanese? <laughs> like, like, of course not. Why would they? I, well, it's more normal in Japan because like, there's so much English in Japan and everybody knows like, most people know a little bit of English. We're like, no one here knows a little bit of Japanese, except if you're a fucking weeaboo, disgusting piece of garbage. Uh, like yourself. Like me, Matt Weeaboo Watson. I, I really, I guess I leaned hard into that uh that thing. I just like going and I just like going to Japan. I don't. I'm not even into anime really. I've seen a few animes. You've seen more than me. Um, I've seen like four maybe. I really do. Uh, I just like the country. I think it's fun going. It's so organized and neat. Whoa, 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 whoa. what? Whoa, 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 pause again. What time is it? Uh, 11:58. <gasps> turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Okay. It's mother. Mother's gone? Oh, yeah, she's gone. Okay, um, do I have some fossils I can mail off? Let's get some fossils and then I'll, I'll change the time, uh, to basically, uh... We got, a, we got a baby panda? It's just on the, uh, it's on the letter. It's so adorable. I, this is why I love this pepper. Piece thing? Is it like... It, yeah, it's embroidered, dude. Yeah, because it's, we're writing on bamboo. Okay, let's see. So we, we, they weaved it into that. By hand. It's the most expensive paper in the game. We went to a big bamboo forest. 
and a, a Rashiyama. Some guy was playing it. good music. I have to say, unfortunately, like when I saw pictures of the Bamboo Forest, I was like, oh, look, people walking around. And then you got there, it was just like this constant people shoving around. I was oh like, my oh, God, the Bamboo I can't Forest even was cool. It. But there were so many fucking people. The one thing that I did like was you and I both got this dude CD. He was just playing. <laughs> he was just playing a uh, some kind of like steel drum thing. Yeah, with his fingers, and it was incredibly it was relaxing. Like, it was like, okay, I like this. You know, it it, it beats the crowd. So uh, we bought his CD. Uh, checked out his SoundCloud. I, I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm excited. I'm gonna pop that sucker in my car. I'm gonna download it. Put it on my. Can you can you download stuff and put it on your Spotify shit? Mm, I don't know or if you can that, put it on Spotify. That, that like Apple Music thing. I'm sure you can do it on Spotify. I need to put all my regular music on Spotify, that's a thing. Like the music that- I have a lot of songs that are on Spotify. Broken hands and weathered souls, emancipated for all you know. You got to go and dig those holes. <sighs> God, I was I, I, I've listened to that the past two mornings while driving to work, <laughs> and I'm singing along to it and shit. I'm like, damn! I just remember this song, and I'm like, I'm like, holy fuck! I, the only part that I don't have down is like zero's part. It's one He's thing. He's like, wake up in the morning and before the sun, keep digging them holes till the day, day is done. done. I think, and then he says something else. Maybe I don't know. I just love how it's like, it's one thing to listen to it like once, maybe ironically, <laughs> and it's another thing to listen to it two days in a row on your way to work. Of it's all a, the music out there, Ryan. It's a good fucking bop. Of all the music you could be like, of all the music enjoying out there, and discovering. You can say that about any song. No, you it's can't. It's good to go back and listen to old shit. Especially stuff that you're nostalgic for. A, a goofy for. song from the whole soundtrack? If you're nostalgic for something, you have the right to listen to it without being judged. That's true. That's absolutely you true. Fucking gatekeeping bastard. Hey, I just agree with you, and then now you're calling me names. Yeah, just have to if make... someone concedes in an argument, well, you don't I have didn't to just immediately well, start insulting them right after. I didn't get right to after. the end part. You apologized in the middle of my rant, and so the rant was going to negatively impact you. Well, you could so have changed to... it. I'm not going to change it on the fly. I was already headed there. Like the Japanese were headed for Pearl Harbor. You make one more fucking joke about Pearl Harbor, I will kick your ass. My grandfather was not there, okay? He missed it. He was sad and he missed it and he brought dishonor to his fucking family. He said, man, I wish I could have been there to de 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 destruct, not destruct, defend our country. He was a big fan of the Michael Bay film and he cries every time watching it and says, I should have been there. It should have been me. <laughs> God, that looked epic. <laughs> Do people still get mad about Pearl Harbor jokes? Well, it's an awful fucking event, and the people that it killed, uh, their deaths still ring true to a generation that's still living. So... True. Uh, do we have a loach yet donated? Loach? A loach. A oh, a I loach, guess. Dude, is that a fucking fish? Is that a fucking loach, dude? <laughs> oh, what? What is a loach? Is it a fish? It's a fish. D oh did my. we already give him one? Yeah. Um... So, uh, when's the new Animal Crossing gonna be, like, officially, like, given a gameplay trailer or just some sort of trailer, Nintendo? Well, you think I got the answers, Ryan? Yes. I don't. I wish I did. I honestly, like... We know the starting Pokemon for the new big Pokemon game. Yeah, we've had 50 million Pokemon games since the last Animal Crossing. Pump the brakes on that, guys. Give us some AC. I think the next an the next uh, Nintendo Direct is gonna be focused on indie games, though. It is. They're doing the, uh, Nindies. Um... Which is cool. A lot- they, they bring a lot of fun little indie games that no- that a lot of people just kind of pass up, so. And now Sony's doing their own Nintendo Directs. Did you see that? Sony, go away. Sony was like, Although they're bringing us Ghost of Sushi. I woke up this morning, and I saw that, uh, Nintendo Direct was trending. And I was like, oh, shit. Did they just, like, drop, like, a surprise one? On, no, on it was just trending because Sony decided to do their own version of Nintendo Direct oh. that they're starting now, called the State of Play, I think. So, it was trending because everyone was calling them, like, saying they were ripping it off. And I was like, man, I didn't want to see Nintendo Direct trending, uh, just for, just for that. You know what I'm excited about? What? I'm gonna go see us tonight. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. I'm just putting this here. Dude, our house is a wreck. In a future episode, we will actually, like, deck out our house and make it real nice. Oh, another nice. thing in the comments. Sorry. What? Apparently, the Japanese don't know how to play chess, and so their version of chess is in black and red. But, like, come on. You mean checkers? They're, they don't know how to play checkers or chess? They appar apparently, their version of chess has black and white, and, like, old versions of chess had, uh, sorry, black and red. And their version of had black and red, and old versions were black and red. Sorry. I'm so confused. Yeah. 
the Japanese, well, if you don't want to understand it like I did looking at the comments section, then that's fine, Matt. You can continue to live in ignorance of chess. <laughs> You can live in your own little chestless bubble <laughs> all you want, buddy. You know, LA's a bubble, and this is proof of that. You know, you're living in your own little uh, echo chamber, buddy, where you refuse to look at uh, how other cultures play chess. I mean, I won't even look at the echo chamber that I put myself in by even posting this to a place that is in itself an echo chamber of my ideals, but I'll be sure to point it out because I don't want to feel bad about the way I do it. Boom! Ryan McGee destroys with fact and logic. Facts, plural. Mm, mm, just one fact. Um, there are a few facts in there, buddy. God damn it, I undid the selling. Fuck! You know what else I undid? My what? pants. Oh yeah, they're undone, I see that. You gonna do the joke where you pull your penis out in front of me? Which to anybody else would be sexual harassment, but to me it's just, you pull uh... pull your penis out too? I could. I'm good. We could just sit here and, uh, bust a sag with our penises out. Did you try any of the squat toilets? We're talking about busting our penises out. Squat in toilets? In Japan, where you No, I, I did not try any of the squat try to, toilets. I had the chance in the airport, and I was like, ah. But I was like, you know, I just feel like sitting down. I have tried it before. I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to... Did you have to spread your shit. cheeks apart? No. Like, manually? Yeah, you like, know. do I have to, like, reach back and... <laughs> yeah. No, because you don't need to do that when you shit. You, you just... You don't? This is the moment you realize you're like, hey, I've been doing it wrong this whole time. I set up my own little, like, hammock above my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't shit unless I'm in my shitting hammock. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I'd hit the, I hit the ceiling a lot, but so I have to scrunch down a bit. But it's worth it. I remember uh, one of the best shows to ever hit television, Tosh.0, oh, did a bit where he was on, like, a really tall toilet, so there was no splash bag. It was funny. Didn't he give a thumbs up when there was no splash bag? I think so. Also, I it's funny I brought this up. I had a dream last night that I was watching Tosh.0, and I was like, man, this show is still on? Is it still on? I think so. Is Tosh.0 still on? I gotta fucking... I remember seeing him in stand-up. I saw him live. You saw Tosh... In Columbia. He came to Columbia Didn't and performed come to... live. Oh, he came to Charleston, and I remember my mom's friend had free tickets for me and my mom to go, and my mom didn't tell me, because she didn't want me to see Daniel Tosh live. Wow. Well, mom, guess jokes what? I became you. a Let's player, so, uh, joke's on you. I'm gonna see if Tosh.0 is still a show. Um, oh my god. Is it? Is it still running? Is it still in syndication? Yeah, there's a new one, uh, March 26th. What the hell, guys? How is Tosh.0 still going on? That's great. Season 11. I remember he made this joke where he was like, on this date, I will end my career and then kill myself. And I, I took it so seriously Wait, at the time. Did? Daniel Tosh. I thought he was actually going to do it. And I got like really like upset. But lo and behold, he's just a millionaire now. Holy shit. Uh, I'm selling some stuff. And I was selling the Black Queen we found. What? Uh, look how much it sells for. That's a lot of money. I think the chess pieces might be rare items. Which means it'll bump up our Happy Room Academy score if we have it in if our we house. keep it. But do we really care about that or do we care about money? All I'm saying is if we get the White Queen and we decide to display them in our house instead of selling her, I'll take note. And so will the audience. I'm not going to display. I don't want any chess pieces in the house, to be honest. I what? think it's a waste of furniture space where we could have something cooler. It's just a big chess piece. I don't care about that. You can have a white knight. Okay, if we get the white knight, we have to put it in our house. Yes. But everything else, I just, I, I don't care about a big chess piece. Okay. I've never been a fan of chess. I, That's unfortunate. It's a fun game. I'm not smart enough for that kind of game. So you don't have to be smart. I'm not competitive enough. You I'm, don't have to be that competitive. It's I, just a game. But you need a lot of logic to play chess. You got to think about your, your if next move. If you're playing against savants, if you're playing with friends, it's the same shit. Ryan, I played tic-tac-toe against a chicken and it beat me once at a fair, okay? <laughs> I'm not good at fucking- Wait, what? Yeah. I played against a chicken and I had tic tac toe and I lost. There just comes a point in tic tac tic tac toe where like you can just always set up a like a cat scratch. I still lost. Uh, not one of my brightest moments, but I. <laughs> you actually lost to a. Chi Did you really? Mm -hmm. You lost to a chicken at a fair. It's a fucking was it smart regular, chicken. Was it, was it Connect Four or was it tic tac toe? Just tic tac toe. I would understand if it was Connect Four, which also is a game I frequently lose at. <laughs> Okay. I'm just saying, it's hard. Why do you think the chicken was there at the fair? Because it was really good at tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Me, a person who doesn't play tic-tac-toe that often, if I'm going up against someone that 
does it but a lot. But does a human have more of an understanding of tic-tac-toe as a game There's, than a chicken It's a chicken smart bird. It's a smart animal. Yeah, they're smart, but they don't have the understanding of tic-tac-toe that you could possibly have even at the age that you were. No, because I have so much in my brain where that chicken only <laughs> no, has tic-tac-toe in its brain. That chicken only has tic-tac-toe in its brain and like eating bird seed. Those are the two things. It was so trained it, by a human. Ryan, if more of my brain percentage, think about how much of that chicken's brain percentage is tic-tac-toe. If that much of my brain percentage... Are you comparing your brain to the brain of a chicken, Matt? <laughs> I'm saying... Are you saying that if a chicken dedicates all its time to tic-tac-toe, then that gives it the right to be better than you? Yes. A human but yes, who has because the understanding... Ryan, think about the percentage of its brain, okay? I'm not talking about size. Okay, sizes. let's put up Matt's brain and a chicken's brain. Equal. Okay. Greater than or equal Let, to. Let's say that chicken, its whole life is tic-tac-toe because it's traveling in the fair. Probably, let's say 75% of that chicken's brain is all about tic-tac-toe. gotta know how to eat. If 75% of my brain was about tic-tac-toe, of course I'd be able to beat the chicken. But probably 0.0001% of my brain is about tic-tac-toe. So the odds there are more in the chicken's favor. It's just how it is. It's statistics. It's facts. You know, when you're right, you're right, Matt. Yeah, I know. I hand it to you. Thank you. <laughs> you can't win every single argument, Ryan. It's just a lesson you gotta learn in life. And you just had to learn it, unfortunately. 